I'm Dr. Tony Hall. I'm a lecturer in educational technology here in the School of Education at NUI Galway. Um, I lecture in educational technology, ICT, English. I'm also, um, I was formerly a, a physical education teacher as well, so I have research interests across those areas, ICT, English and physical education. And I also teach the history and philosophy of education. Um, as well as lecturing and research in those areas, I'm the editor of the Education Matters Yearbook which is the professional handbook of educators in Ireland, covering all aspects of Irish education across the entire system of the Irish education uh, system, from early years care and early childhood education, all the way through to higher education, fourth level research, and uh, lifelong learning. You told mm -hmm. them that um, NUIG have introduced the Masters of Education programme. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so it's it's the not only in NUI Galway, but uh, for consecutive, what would be known as consecutive teacher education, which is where one would do your degree in in your subjects that you would hope to teach, and then you would follow that sequentially with a initial teacher education qualification. So across the country and the in the in the state as a whole, this is a major change to how we undertake this consecutive teacher education. So it's moving from what would have been previously known as the HDIP, the Higher Diploma in Education, laterally then known as the Postgraduate Diploma in Education, and then currently, this is the last year of what's called the Professional Diploma in Education. It's becoming a two-year professional master program. Um, it'll be a full-time two-year program, and the nomenclature of it, or the name of the program, is the Professional Master of Education. So that's in all um, consecutive teacher education in the state. Okay. And it comes in foot of changes that have been... Um, uh, designed and introduced by the, the, the statutory body for the profession of teaching in Ireland, the Teaching Council of Ireland. Okay. So who's eligible then to apply for the programme, Tony? Um, eligibility, um, those, those eligible for the programme would be people who are, again, it, it would be the same um, ap uh, application admissions process as the professional diploma in education. Okay. So through PAC yes. uh, for the NUI um, universities and schools of education. So it would be people who would have a degree yes. uh, in a subject then that is recognised by the Teaching Council as per the NCCA. Right. Um, okay. So one of the recognised teaching subjects, at least one subject. It's usually uh, recommended that one has two, that the, the applicant would have two subjects that they would be eligible to teach in, in the post-primary right. sector. Okay. Okay. So it would be... So you would have completed your degree and now mm. you would, and rather than going on to do the HDIP, you'll now be applying to go on and do the Masters. Precisely, precisely, Caroline. Yes, you'd have, you will have your, your, your graduate of, uh, you know, of a level eight programme at least. Mm -hmm. And um, then you would, you, you would proceed then to do your two year Masters. So it would be ordinarily now six years, five to six years to qualify as a post primary teacher. What do you see as the benefits to this new approach? To the benefits, yes. I think generally it's, it's to be very welcomed in the sense that um, it's professional qualification. It's uh, going to be a master. So that the graduate now, and this is in keeping with developments internationally in other countries, for example in Finland where the, the, the subject teacher must have 300 credits, ECTs or ECTS as they're, they're also known, would have to have that in their teaching subject to be eligible to teach uh, that subject in, uh, in, in a school. So it's um it, it it will one would hope would would contribute to the development of a, a, you know a more fully uh, formed educator who will have more experience because there will be a, a very significant concentration of teaching practice through the two years so in the first year you would have it would it would be generally like the the professional diploma currently but in the second year there will be a very large concentration of teaching practice placement in schools so you'd hope that at the end of the process the graduate of the professional master in education would be a better prepared teacher okay. and how classroom many, practitioner. Good. How many places will be available on the programme here in NUI Galway, do you think? Um, it, I think in the order of maybe about 120, per, around that, that figure, okay. but again, okay. uh, I, ca I can't say precisely yeah. at the moment. Yeah. yeah, I think that if, again, education is a vocation, it's, uh, it's a profession. Um, it's a great profession. It's a tough profession. It's a, you know it's a challenging profession, but equally you know it's it's a it's a, an enriching, wonderful profession as well, teaching and education. Um, and um, you know as John Dewey said, education isn't a preparation for life. Education is life itself. So you know obviously as an educationist, I believe yes. very strongly in that. Um, and you know if one really wants to become a a, t a teacher 
of the subjects that perhaps they love have loved in school and then in college um, this would be you know obviously this is the flagship program now for preparing people to teach subjects in, in school Thanks, so I'd heartily encourage them to do it. Thank you, Tom. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you.